name is Janet Garlin. I'm a nurse practitioner student at Brandman University, and I will be completing a total head-to-toe assessment on you today. Do you give me permission to do that? Yes. For the purpose of this video, breast and genitalia examination will be deferred. I'm going to close the curtain to give you some privacy, and I'll wash my hands so we can begin our assessment. Please let me know if you feel any discomfort during the procedure, and I will be observing you for any signs of distress or discomfort during this time. I've already looked at your vital signs, and all your vital signs are within normal limits. The appearance of my patient is that she's clean, she's well nourished, her weight is within normal limits according to her calculated BMI, good posture, her, her complexion is, is proportionally colored, and she's well dressed for the season. So I'll be examining my patient's skin. Her skin is light brown complexion, warm, dry, Good skin is intact, good skin tiger, no lesions, birthmarks, or edema. Her hair is normally distributed, good texture, no pests or inhabitants. Her nail bed has no clubbing, no biting or discoloration, and her nail bed is pink and prompt return from capillary refill. Now we're going to do a head and face assessment. Her head is normal cephalic. No lesions, no lumps or scaling or parasites or tenderness noted. Can you smile for me? Show your teeth? Really nice. Motor component cranial nerve number seven is intact. Now I'm going to touch you with this object, sharp and then, and then dull, okay? This is dull, this is sharp, so just let me know what you feel and when you feel it, okay? This one? Dull. What about this one? Sharp. This one? Dull. This one? Sharp. This one? Dull. This one? Sharp. Okay, great. Cranial nerve number seven is intact. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna examine your temporomandibular joint, okay? So open and close, open and close. Oh, very nice, very nice. So no clicking sound noted. Motor cranial nerve number five is intact. So now we're gonna take a look at your eyes, okay? Let me see some. Look at that. Very good. So, in an inspection of her eyes, the eyelids, the sclera, the conjunctiva, the iris and the pupils, and the cornea appears to be normal. The conjunctiva is clear, the color is white, no lesions or redness noted. Now we're going to assess your EMO. Now, can you follow my finger without moving your head? Okay, perfect. Now, with that examination done correctly, cranial nerve number three, four, and six are intact. Now I'm gonna test your eyes for accommodation. Please look at the pen, and don't take your eye off the pen, okay? Okay, very good. The eyes are converging and pupils are constricting. Now I'm going to shine a light directly into your eyes to observe for direct reflex. Then I'm going to shine the, the, light, the, the light in your eyes from sideways. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. So now we're going to examine your ears. And I'm looking. They are symmetrically placed. And I'm going to take a look inside your ear. Very good. Let me see the other one. Very good. So, as I pop it, there is no tenderness. And um, the canal is clear. The tympanic membrane is pretty gray. And landmarks are intact. No perforation. So now I'm going to do the Weberinus test. Okay? And this one, you tell me if you, still, if you feel the vibration. And when you, and you feel it, and you feel it in both ears. Do you feel it? Yes. In both ears? Yes. Okay, great. So now, do you hear the sound equally in both ears? Yes. Okay. Normal, normal result, the Rhinic test for air conduction is equal to the bone conduction and bilaterally. Cranial nerve number 8 is intact. Now I'm going to palpate the mastoid process for abnormality. Okay. 
No, I've never had a thin nose. Okay, so now we're going to begin examination of your nose, okay? So first I'm going to palpate it. I'm going to check for any kind of abnormality or broken bones or anything. And now we're just sniff in and out. Good job. Sniff in and out. Okay. Now I want you to tell me what you smell. Linen. Okay. And then this one I want you to, with your eyes closed, tell me what you smell. Powder. What, 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 what is this though? A deodorant. Okay, good job. All right, so now I'm going to look inside your nose. Okay. All right. So, there are no deformities, no tenderness on palpitation. Her nerves are patent. The mucosa is pink, no lesions. The septum is midline, no perforation. And on palpation of the frontal ethnoid and maxillary sinus, no tenderness. The inferior turbinate is visible and intact and seen during an inspection of the nose. Okay, so now we're going to examine your mouth. Can you open your mouth for me? Okay, great. Now can you stick out your tongue? Can you move it from side to side? Okay, wonderful. So now cranial nerve number seven is intact because she was able to stick out her tongue and move it from side to side. Her tongue is symmetrical, protrudes midline, no tumors, and the pharynx is pink, no exudate, uvula rises mid midline, tonsillar is one plus, and now I'm going to perform a gag reflex, okay? So I want you to open your mouth. Let's stick right there. Great. Okay. So, um... Gag reflex is, in, is intact. Cranial nerve number 10 and 11 is intact. Okay, so now we're going to examine your neck, okay? I'm going to feel for any, any kind of lesions or any kind of lumps or pain or anything. Does it hurt anywhere when I touch it? No. Okay, so now I want you to move your neck from side to side. Any pain? No. Then I want you to use your chin to touch your chest. Any pain there? No. Okay, great. So um, her neck is flexible with full range of motion. It's symmetrical. No masses, tenderness, or lymphadenopathy. No lumps or palpation noted. So now we're going to examine your lungs, okay? And you know, back in the room, we already examined your posterior and anterior, your, your, your posterior thorax and your anterior chest. And I'm looking for shape and symmetry. And so far, everything is normal. So now I want to do a diaphragmatic exertion, okay? So I'm going to take a deep breath in, then breathe out, and hold it, okay? And then what I want to do, I'm going to do some check, checks back here, and I'm going to put some markings, okay? okay? All right. So then you can breathe normal. All right, on the next one, you're going to inhale and hold it, okay? Okay, so we have between four and five centimeters, so that is normal. So the next test I'm going to do for tactile phrenitis. Okay? Every time I, t I touch you, you say 99, okay? 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. Okay, great. So that's normal. So the ribcage is sloping downwards with a symmetrical in interspace. The coastal fatigue angle, the coastal angle is within 90 degrees. Okay? And now I'm going to listen to your lung sounds. Deep, deep breath in, out, in, out, deep breath in, out, deep breath in, out, good. So I'm going to breathe normal. Okay. So lung sounds are clear in all lung fields. Now we're going to complete the cardiovascular assessment. So the first thing I want to do is to check your peripheral pulses. Okay, so these are your radial pulses. Feel nice and strong, steady beat. Your brachial pulses also feel really strong, steady beat. Femoral pulse also feels very good. Now I want to check the ones in your feet. So your dorsalis pedis, also very good, strong, steady beat. Posterior tibia, also very good. So now I'm going to auscultate for any brew.
Take a deep breath in and hold it. Okay, breathe normal. Deep breath in and hold it. Okay, great. So now I'm gonna listen to your heart sounds, okay? For rate and rhythm. Okay, so now I'm going to place the bell of the stethoscope right of the sternal border, which is the aortic valve. And then I'll go left of the sternal border, border which is the pulmonic valve, to listen. Sounds very good. Then I will go to the third intercostal space for the herbs point. Then at the fourth intercostal space for the tricuspid valve. And at the fifth intercostal space, for the mitral valve. Now, I'm going to feel for the point of maximum impulse, which would be at the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular, and it feels very good. I could I could feel it, and this would indicate that there is no heart enlargement. That concludes the inner cardiovascular assessment. So now we're going to complete our abdominal assessment, and the first thing I've done is I've observed her abdomen, and as I can see, it is flat. The umbilicus is midline. There are no signs of vascular changes and no signs of, of any bulging. Um, and everything looks kind of normal so far. So now I'm going to listen to her bowel sounds. And I'm going to pick it in the right lower quadrant where the ileocecal valve is and bowel sound is usually present there. Then I'll move over to the aortic region. Then to the ileus region. And then the renal. And bowel sounds are present in all four quadrants. Now I'm going to pop it lightly for any signs of any mass or any abnormality. Let me know if you feel any pain, okay? okay. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Any pain? No. Any no. pain? Okay, good. So, so far, our abdominal assessment is normal. So now we're going to complete our neurological exam. And so far we have, che we have checked cranial nerve number two, number three, number four, and six, which we've already found to be within normal limits. So now what I want you to do is to smile, clench your teeth, okay? Feels nice and strong. Now, I want you to close your eyes and don't let me open. Close your eyes. Okay, very good. Now, I want you to pop your lips. All right, then you're gonna fill up, fill up your cheeks with air. Good job. So, this proves that cranial nerve number seven is intact. Cranial nerve number seven and number eight are intact. Okay? So I'm going to touch the tongue blade with, um, touch your tongue with the tongue blade. And as I can see, the uvula and the soft palate rise midline and the tonsillar pillar moves medially. This proves that cranial nerve number 9 and 10 are intact. Now, push your face against my hand. Do it with the other side. Okay. Okay, now forcibly shrug your shoulders. Okay, both sides, both sides feels really strong. That proves that cranial nerve number 11 is intact. Now, can you show me your tongue? Okay, great. Can you please say light, tight, like dynamite? Light, tight, like dynamite. Tongue is midline. The sound of the letter L, T, and D are heard clearly. Cranial nerve number 12 is intact. So now we're going to complete our cerebellar test. And for this test, I want you to close your eyes. Then you're going to stretch your arms out to the side, and then you're going to touch your, your nose with, with your index finger, alternate arms, and you're going to start slow and then speed it up. Okay, very good. Now you're going to touch your knees, put your palm of your hands and go upside down, upside down real fast. Okay, very good. So now we're going to complete the Romberg sign, and for that one you're going to put your heels together, and close your eyes for 20 seconds.
Okay, don't worry, you fall, I'll catch you. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Okay, so now you're gonna walk back towards me, normal. Okay, you're gonna walk back. And then this time you're gonna come towards me, but you're gonna do walk heel to toe. Okay, very good. Now we're gonna do a shallow knee bend. You're gonna bend the right knee first, and then you're gonna bend the left knee. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we're gonna do the sensation test, right? We kinda of did that before, but this time it's a little different. Where I want you to do the same thing as far as telling me if you, have a, if you feel it sharp or dull, okay? All right, so tell me. Sharp, dull, sharp, sharp. Sharp, 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 sharp. Okay, all right, very good. So now we're going to do the vibration te vibration text, okay? Tell me when you don't feel the vibration anymore, okay? I'm going to start with the elbow. I don't feel it. Okay, very good. Now, let me do your big toe. Tell me you don't feel it anymore. I don't feel it. Okay, very good. So now we're going to complete the muscular skeleton exam. So first I want you to touch your chin towards your chest. Then put your chin up towards the ceiling. Now use your ear, your right ear to touch your right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. And then you're going to you're gonna rotate your arm forward. And then backwards. And then you're going to put your arms out. And then I'm going to check for, for strength and resistance in your elbow, okay? Okay, very good. Okay, so now we're going to um, check um, to see. Um, use your heel to run along your shin on that side. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to hit your... <clears throat> now I'm going to hit your Achilles tendon to see how your, your foot is going to flex. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to check for the reflex, Babinski reflex. I'm going to do an upside down J and to see how your toes are going to respond. Oh, very so good. now I'm going to ask you to bend both knees one at a time. Bend it and raise it towards your chest. Very good. The skin on the knees are smooth, good coloration, intact, no bruising, no swelling, no lesions. So now you're going to move your wrist in and out, back and forth. Then you're going to make a fist. Then you're going to use each finger to touch each your thumb, like that. Then you're going to spread your fingers apart. Very good. Now I want to check your knee strength. So bend your knee and hold it on. Let me push on it. The next one. Okay, good job. Now your toes look flat and pointing forward. Mm -hmm. um, ankles, bony prominence look good. And um, everything look normal so far as our assessment concludes, and this concludes our head-to-toe basic assessment.